right today we discuss chapter 2 inverse trigonometric functions we know the graph of sin function so this is the graph of sin function so what is the domain of sin function your domain is so domain is set of all real numbers and range is closed interval minus 1 comma 1 so the graph of sin x and the domain of sin x is set of all real numbers range of sin x is closed interval minus 1 comma 1 so that is the sin function is the sin function is if the domain of sin function is set of all real numbers set of all real numbers to closed interval minus 1 comma 1 so this is the sin function so the the sin function in this domain set of all real numbers is 1 1 1 or 2 or not when we say the function is 1 1 geometrical representation of 1 1 function is when we when we draw the line parallel to x axis above or below the line cuts the graph at only once then we say the function is 1 1 suppose if we draw a line parallel to x axis parallel to x axis this line cuts the graph more than more than 1 point so therefore your f is not 1 1 function so not 1 1 function so therefore your sin inverse does not exist in this domain real numbers suppose if we restrict the domain if we restrict the domain set of all real numbers minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 if we restrict the domain closed interval in place of closed interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 so this is the graph of between minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 the graph is this one so this is the graph of sin function between minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 so if we if we draw line parallel to x axis this line cuts the graph shaded part at only once only once therefore the function is 1 1 therefore in this domain sin function has inverse has inverse so therefore your sin function defined from closed interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 to closed interval minus 1 to comma 1 minus 1 comma 1 the function sin is both 1 1 and on 2 therefore sin inverse is exist sin inverse is exist so when we say the function has inverse suppose if f from a to b f from a to b is a function there exist another function g from b to a b to a such that g of y is equal to x then the function is said to be the, 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 then the function f has inverse okay now if f is both 1 1 and on 2 and there exist another function g from b to a such that g of y is equal to x then we say your g is called the f inverse similarly your sin function is both 1 1 and on 2 in this domain so therefore sin inverse is exist your sin inverse from sin inverse from closed interval minus 1 comma 1 to closed interval minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2 so therefore sin inverse is exist sin inverse is exist in this domain closed interval minus 1 comma 1 so therefore inverse of sin function is exist when we restrict the domain of sin function is closed interval minus pi by 2 to comma plus pi by 2 so therefore sin inverse is exist therefore we define the sin function sin inverse of x is if sin theta if sin theta is equal to x if and only if if and only if sin inverse x sin inverse x is equal to theta when the sin inverse is exist if theta lies between minus pi by 2 less than or equal to theta less than or equal to pi by 2 and x lies between sin theta is equal to x means theta is the angle x is the value therefore x value lies between minus 1 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 1 so therefore your sin inverse x is equal to theta x is the domain of sin inverse and theta is the range of sin inverse function so therefore your theta is the domain of domain of sin inverse x is closed interval minus 1 comma 1 and range of sin inverse x is 
क्लोज इंटरवल माइनस फाइव बै टू टू फाइव बै टू सो दिस द इनवर्स आफ सैन फंक्षन डेफिनेशन सिमिलरली इफ यू ड्रा ए लाइन पारल टू एक्स एक्सिस पारल टू एक्स एक्सिस दिस लाइन कट्स द ग्राफ मोर दैन वन पॉइंट सो देर फॉर द फंक्षन कॉस इज नाट वन वन इन दिस डोमाइन इफ यू रिस्ट्रिक द डोमाइन जीरो टू फाइव सपोज इन दिस डोमाइन जीरो टू जीरो टू फाइव सपोज दिस इज द जीरो टू फाइव ग्राफ जीरो टू फाइव इफ ए लाइन इज ड्रॉन पारल टू पारल टू एक्स एक्सिस एब और बिलो दिस लाइन कट्स द ग्राफ एट ओनली वन ओनली वन दे फॉर द फंक्शन कॉस इज वन वन एंड ऑन टू इन द डोमाइन ऑफ जीरो टू क्लोज इन टू जीरो काम फाइव इफ यू रिस्ट्रिक्ट द डोमाइन जीरो काम फाइव दट मीन इन दिस बिटवी दीज टू पॉइंट जीरो टू फाइव सो द फंक्शन ईज वन वन एंड ऑन टू देर फोर कास् इनवर्स इज एक्सिस्ट इफ यू रिस्ट्रिक्ट द डोमाइन क्लोज इन टू जीरो काम फाइव सो देर फोर कास् इनवर्स कास् इनवर्स इज डिफाइंड एज क्लोज इन टू माइनस वन काम वन टू सो जीरो काम फाइव सो देर फोर so therefore the in cos inverse is defined as if cos theta is equal to if cos theta is equal to x if and only if cos inverse x is equal to cos inverse x is equal to theta where your theta lies between 0 less than or equal to theta less than or equal to pi and x value lies between minus 1 less than or equal to 1 so therefore your cos inverse x is equal to theta x is the Domain of cos inverse theta is the range of cos inverse. Your theta value is theta value is range range of cos inverse x is equal to closed interval zero comma pi and range of uh, domain of cos inverse x is closed interval minus one comma one. So therefore, next suppose if we restrict the domain, if we restrict the domain, so pi to pi to two pi. In this interval also, suppose if we restrict the domain, so pi to 2 pi pi to 2 pi the function cos is both 1 1 and on 2 or if we restrict the domain minus pi by 2 2 so minus pi to 0 minus pi to 0 so diagram wrong so in this interval also the cos is both 1 1 and on 2 so therefore if the intervals minus pi to 0 0 to pi pi to 2 pi all these intervals cos is both 1 1 and on 2 inverse is exist but universally we take the domain is closed interval 0 to pi this this interval is called the this interval is called the principal value branch of principal value branch of cos inverse so the closed interval 0 comma pi the closed interval 0 comma pi is the principal value branch of cos inverse x so this is the definition of inverse of cos function so therefore if the inverse of sin function is defined as if sin theta is equal to if sin theta is equal to x if and only if sin inverse x is equal to sin inverse x is equal to theta where Minus pi by two less than or equal to theta less than or equal to pi by two and minus one less than or equal to x less than or equal to one. Second one, if cos theta is equal to x, if cos theta is equal to x, if and only if cos inverse x is equal to theta. Here theta zero less than or equal to theta less than or equal to pi minus one less than or equal to x less than or equal to one. Similarly, we can define tan. cot secant and cosecant third one is if tan theta is equal to if tan theta is equal to x if and only if tan inverse x is equal to tan inverse x is equal to theta if theta lies between minus pi by 2 to minus pi by 2 less than theta less than pi by 2 that means open interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 because tan pi by 2 is not defined tan of minus pi by 2 is also not defined so that's why we take open interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 that is only strictly less than strictly less than next x value lies between x value lies between minus infinity less than a, less than x less than infinity the x value lies between minus infinity to plus infinity that means set of all real numbers so that is the range next 
similarly cot theta if cot theta is equal to if cot theta is equal to x if and only if cot inverse x cot inverse x is equal to theta here theta lies between 0 less than theta less than pi minus infinity less than x less than infinity so because again so cot inverse cot theta is equal to cot 0 is infinity cot 180 degrees is also infinity minus infinity so therefore here cot inverse x cot inverse x is equal to theta so the domain is domain is set of all real numbers and range of cot inverse x is open interval 0 comma pi similarly so fifth one secant inverse x if secant inverse secant theta if secant theta is equal to x if and only if secant inverse x is equal to theta here if cot theta is equal to x if and only if cot inverse x is equal to theta here theta lies between open interval 0 comma pi and x lies between minus infinity and plus infinity so therefore if the domain of domain of cot inverse x is set of all real numbers or open interval minus infinity comma infinity and range of cot inverse x is open interval 0 comma pi similarly if secant theta is equal to x if and only if secant inverse x is equal to theta here theta belongs to open in closed interval 0 comma pi to closed interval 0 comma pi except pi by 2 if x is less than or equal to minus 1 or x is greater than or equal to 1 so the domain of secant inverse x is x value is less than or equal to minus 1 or x value is greater than or equal to 1 so this is also written as set of all real numbers except open interval minus 1 comma 1 all real numbers except open interval minus 1 comma all real numbers except between minus 1 and plus 1 so this is the this is the domain of secant inverse x so range of secant inverse x is closed interval 0 comma pi minus pi by 2 next if cosecant x is equal to cosecant cosecant theta is equal to x if cosecant theta is equal to x if and only if cosecant inverse x is equal to theta here theta belongs to closed interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 minus 0 except 0 so take any value between minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 cosecant inverse x is defined next if x is less than or equal to minus 1 or x is greater than or equal to 1 so domain of cosecant inverse x is again or set of all real numbers except minus open interval minus 1 comma 1 and range of cosecant inverse x is closed interval minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2 minus 0 so this is the table we can find the domain range of all inverse trigonometric functions okay, no? so function domain range a range of inverse trigonometric function is also called the principal value branch principal value branch pvb so sin inverse x domain is closed interval minus 1 comma 1 range of or pb pb means so principal value branch of sin inverse x is clo closed interval minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2 so domain of cos inverse x is closed interval minus 1 comma 1 and uh, principal value branch is closed interval 0 comma pi so tan inverse x domain is set of all real numbers and range is open interval minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2 because tan function is not defined not defined at x is equal to pi by 2 and uh, minus pi by 2 next cot inverse x domain is set of all real numbers range is open interval 0 comma pi secant inverse x domain is set of all real numbers except to open interval minus 1 comma 1 so range is closed interval 0 comma pi except pi by 2 cosecant inverse x domain is set of all real numbers except open interval minus 1 comma 1 and range is closed interval minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2 minus 0 so this is the table so this is very useful to solve the problems in inverse trigonometric functions so let let us discuss exercise 2.1 some problems exercise 2.1 find the principal value branch of the following questions the first one is sin inverse minus 1 by 2 solution let sin inverse minus 1 by 2 is equal to theta 
let sin inverse of minus 1 by 2 is equal to theta. By definition of inverse of a sine function, your sine theta, your sine inverse transpose 2 RHS that becomes sine. So, sine theta, sine theta is equal to minus 1 by 2. Your sine theta is equal to minus 1 by 2 can be written as sine 30 degrees, that is sine pi by 6. So, sine theta is equal to minus minus sin theta minus sin theta is equal to sin of minus theta minus pi by 6 minus sin pi by 6 is equal to sin of minus pi by 6 so comparing these two your theta value is equal to minus pi by 6 if theta lies between what is the what is the principal value branch of sin inverse x close interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 if this value lies between in this interval so theta is called the principal value branch if theta is equal to minus theta is equal to minus pi by 6 clearly belongs to close interval minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 therefore therefore principal value branch of sin inverse minus 1 by 2 is minus pi by 6 so this is the first question and the second one is second one is cosecant inverse 2 let cosecant let cosecant inverse 2 is equal to theta by definition of cosecant inverse so cosecant theta is equal to cosecant theta is equal to 2 so cosecant theta is equal to 2 means cosecant of some value is equal to 2 cosecant 60 degrees is equal to 2 so cosecant pi by 3 cosecant actually cosecant 30 is equal to sorry cosecant 30 sin 30 is equal to 1 by 2 cosecant 30 is equal to reciprocal of sin 30 that is 2 so cosecant pi by cosecant 30 is equal to cosecant pi by 3 value is 2 here 2 can be written as cosecant pi by 3 comparing these two theta is equal to so pi by 3 theta is equal to what is the principal value branch of or range of cosecant inverse x is range of cosecant inverse x is close interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 except 0 so clearly this belongs to close interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 minus 0 so therefore pvb of cosecant inverse cosecant inverse x is pi by 3 so this is the second question and third one is third one is cos inverse of minus pi by 2 let cos inverse of minus 1 by 2 is equal to theta by definition of cosine function cos theta is equal to minus 1 by 2 so cos theta is equal to minus 1 by 2 is cos 60 degrees that is cos pi by 3 minus cos minus half is equal to minus cos pi by 3 here cos theta is equal to minus cos theta is equal to minus cos theta is equal to cos 90 cos pi minus pi by 3 cos 180 minus theta is equal to minus cos theta so therefore your cos theta is equal to cos take lcm 3 pi minus pi so cos 2 pi by 3 so comparing these two your theta value is 2 pi by 3 what is the principal value branch of cos inverse close interval 0 comma pi so clearly 2 pi by 3 means 120 degrees lies between 0 to 180 degrees belongs to closed interval 0 comma pi therefore principal value branch of cos inverse minus 1 by 2 is 2 pi by 3 so this is the solution